Okay, this is what I was looking for. Panel line accent color. This is, of course, from Tamiya. And I've used this on panel lining my kits. Sometimes it came out with good results, sometimes it did not come out with good results. And I thought of an idea that I'm going to try. And many of you are going to probably tell me, not, good, not a good idea. But I'm going to try it either way. Try to panel in this one. Actually, to say the truth, let's see if I can zoom in so you guys can see this properly. There we go. Now I am noticing something. Since this is a primed kit, I guess this is not a good idea. Because it, it the primer is absorbing the ink. Obviously when I spray paint over it, it's gonna cover it up. But I was hoping it would dig deep inside the crevices of the kit of the parts. That would probably be a good idea for like a bigger kit, like a Gundam kit or a robot kit where the surface detail is larger and uh, easy to identify. But for something like this that's very min minuscule and small, maybe not a good idea. It's like some something like built in there like in this area is understandable and some of these part some of these parts are represented by the um, by the by the decals that I'm going to put on this kit but giving it a little bit of uh, of death right there with these parts with me doing this What I was dreading was I'm, I don't want to use a Gundam marker because I don't want to scrape the paint or I don't want to scrape the primer. But yeah, I mean, actually, to tell you the truth, I should have used. All right, maybe that would probably be a good idea for me to use. Um, what do you call it? Real touch markers because they're they're felt tip and they won't dig in. Maybe my, and and of course, a paint like this is required only to be used on a part that has already been um, uh, top coated, so that way it doesn't doesn't damage the paint below that. Again, this is primer, so I don't have to worry about that. Hmm. I'm going to continue on with this and see how it looks. Um, there's a lot of surface parts here, especially on on this and on, well, pretty much everything. There's a tremendous amount of detail here that I'm going to try to see if I can get it um, uh, show, showing through when I, when I paint it. So, let me continue on and it's going to take me some time, a lot of time, and then we'll go from there and see will be the final results. Okay. What do you guys think of this? It looks like a bit of a mess, as you can see here. But, uh, it was a lot time-consuming work to actually appreciate this. Truth be told, it looks horrendous. But when I was using the panel line accent color, clearly the ink was absorbed by the primer. And even though it did go through the um, panel lining, uh, I thought maybe it needed more. Now, I just 
recently put it away because I was shifting things here. But I used, um, I didn't use this because that was, this was scraping the, um, the, the primer. Instead, I was using um, the, uh, what do you call it? And, and why is it that I never seem to have it nearby when I'm thinking about it? Uh, I used the um, real touch markers. I used black real touch markers. And as you can see, I did all this. And wow, the amount and level of detail that's on these kits, on this kit alone, was staggering. I didn't realize how much panel lining this thing had. I would have gone nuts doing it after I finished painting it. Um, but it was it was a pain in the ass to do all this. Look at this. And certain areas I didn't have to worry about. But this this drove me nuts. Look at this. This yeah, this actually was my first t try with the with the with the panel lining accent color. But using the marker seemed to be a better choice to use this. So, but what what drove me nuts was this one right here, just getting all the little detail on this. Look at this. Now this part I didn't have to worry about because once it's painted, I have the um, the the decal, the decal that goes here, which is good. So and here as well. So this is this is going to be okay. So yeah, that is going to be a pain in the ass to do all this. Now speaking of painting, and I haven't had the opportunity to go to Gundam Planet yet. Uh, I'm actually trying to hopefully get this done before the weekend, because I got the next weekend. But I was reviewing the color schemes and thank you for those who sent me the messages on what the H stand for H was basically the uh, lacquer based paint I'm oh, sorry acrylic based paint but the dark color like the like the 1 2 14 those are the actual uh, lacquer based paints now I have one and I have two which I think is black and white but I don't have some of the others primarily the main color for the ships itself we'll begin with um, hold on. Let me use this here. So, um, three twenty-four is actually gray, or a specific tone of gray. I don't have three twenty-four. Instead, I have three o six, which is a gray as well. But I have another gray, more like a lighter gray, which is 315. So this is lighter than this, but the, this is darker than this. I think I can get away with 306 for the, you know, the, the lighter portion of the ship. So that is good right there. The next color, which again, I was a bit off and I don't have it is of course 305 which is a darker gray color so the I was looking around to see what I have and I put it to the side here just to keep it separate so I have actually 32 which is a good dark gray I could use that or I could use 337 which is a grayish blue but this has a, a bluish tone and uh, this is don't know if I should use a, a gray bluish tone on this. I'll keep this to the side for a possibility. So I'm more leaning on this one. The 32 will be perfect replacing the 305 because there is these little nooks and crannies of the ship where it's a darker gray tone, especially here in the actual doors. So that is a definite right there. Now this is where it gets a little strange 333 three, three. I actually had to go online to dig up that color it's called where is it I have to actually zoom it in on this side because it's called extra dark sea gray I don't have that and it's basically 
um, you know, this color, which just has a, a bluish tone to it. So, I was thinking, what can I use this? What color do I have? I, I, I searched around. Um, I believe I have a lack of an acrylic based color, but I don't, there's certain colors that are going to be need to be mixed in acrylic and lacquer. I mean, painting lacquer above acrylic is not a wise idea. Fortunately, thinking of maybe using a combination of two colors, which I don't know if this will work. Where the hell is it? I just had it here a minute ago. Oh, there it is. So, Titan's Blue 2 has a bluish tone to it but it's a little darker and I kind of like this and I think I may mix this with this this is the Titan blue one this one has a good tone to it it has a grayish tone but maybe I should use this it's darker and then highlight it with this so a one pass with this followed by another pass with this see how that works I'm gonna try that idea that should be fine. And then, of course, the part for the engines, I have tan. That should be fine enough. I mean, there, in reality, there is no number or uh, for this. It's actually letter A. And if I read in here in A, it says here, mix number 44 with 334. I, of course, I don't have these colors. So, Some other colors that I did write down, which, I didn't, which are small and minute, um, like... Uh, back here, the thrusters is actually burnt iron, while the back thrusters itself, here, and I believe, I believe here is steel. I actually can get away with that with Eloclad, so I think I'm going to use that, and I'll dull it out so it doesn't show, doesn't be that, uh, doesn't it's not that shiny. Um, let me see. I do have some here on the side. I, I didn't get a chance to pull it out. Uh, I have jet exhaust. That should probably be good for that. For the thrusters. Thinking of doing silverish, but I don't want to be that that obvious. Gunmetal may be a, a good um a good alternative right there. Let me see here. I have the gun metal, so that should be fine. I should always it's always a good idea to have one of those off yeah here's gun metal. It's a good idea to have one of those little weird colors that you only use it once in one specific area. But I'm gonna try to do all this as best as I possibly can, especially the ships here because um, spray painting the dark the dark gray may not be a good idea. I think I'm going to probably hand brush it, just water it down, and just dab it in there, just so I can get into there. Or maybe I'll use something else, like an, like an acrylic base paint. All right, let's begin painting. See how it looks. <laughs> 